Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. Hi there, Sagittarius. How you doing, my beautiful human beings out there, Sagittarius people? We got Wild Unknown Tarot in September for you. It's like a, as Annie Potticelli put it, tsunami of changes. But it's Virgo season. There's water energy, I guess. I don't know. Let's shuffle it up and see what we get. Well, Sagittarius, th this looks like a nice processing of a flow of energy in your life. Sag, in September, you have the Ten of Pentacles in your spirituality. So you, you have that um, holy, abundant light within you, the spiritual aspects, whatever you want to believe in, whatever, you know, the greatest self of you, you know, the bestest, bestest, the most, the perfect version of you, right? It's spiritually in tune with who you are. The uh, Six of Pentacles here. Uh, your mind is on the the branches of extenuating circumstances. You have emotions, uh, pins and needles in your heart. Uh, you're kind of on edge a little bit. So you're like delicate branch here growing out your pentacles with your mind. The Ace of Cups here, uh, pouring out the old stale waters is in the atmosphere, the energy for you in September. So this is like a, a renewal or rejuvenation for you. So there is some kind of healing water tsunami effect here. So it's like an unexpected blessing or a blessing in disguise, unexpected event. You have temperance in your physical aspect, which is your like material, your 3D realm, your your abundance, the you know the dense material earth planet that we live in, anything that has to do with your body and the real the earth planet, you have temperance in reverse, so you're off balance a little bit. I mean, it, it's because the energies you're in a tsunami. The waves are wishing, washing the energy like of the month, not you, not people necessarily. Even though it may feel like that, I'm talking about the energies is affecting everyone. And the astrology and the planets and everything else going on with the world and the history and this and that. So it, it's kind of cool that the Six of Swords showed up in your social game because this is going to allow you to heal that heart a little bit better. Get that old, nasty, stale, mucky, must, uh, musky mosquito water out of your system. Okay, that's why you're a little off balance because you're not you don't have the right pH levels maybe or your your uh, blood levels or whatever else anything that has to do with you and your body your levels aren't off uh, aren't on point or very accurate 
with what's going on in the energies and where you've come to and your point in life and what's going on this and that but it's a peaceful rainbow of call, uh, um, after the storm coming the social game isn't like gonna be before it's gonna be a little different it's gonna be actually a blessing in disguise in some weird r way as long as you allow the ace of cups to flow out and then refill soon okay because you got to get all this out all this little gunk this toxicity the, the metals and whatnot out of your system you gotta get the fluoride out of the water you gotta get the aluminum out of your um deodorant you gotta get uh these are things we've done a long time ago you gotta get some nascent iodine in your pineal gland you got to get some shilajit you know these are things that you need to get balanced with okay look into how to balance yourself look into knowing yourself and the balance your physical body interaction with the dense earth planet not that you're not in shape or anything but that doesn't mean your mind maybe needs a little attention here and there with your heart the minerals Okay, the water also that you drink, depending on where you're getting it from, has energy in it. So think about these things, okay? Sagittarius. So overall, Sagittarius, let's just go over this real quick. It looks like you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be fine. Nothing's too worried about. September is a little bit of a storm, but it's a good storm. It's a storm to like get rid of the old nasty stagnantness in Sagittarius so they can get out of the funk. All right, Sag. So Sag, this is a get the groove back, um, finish your funk, and move on. You know what I mean, Sagittarius. Um, so here we are. We're embracing the Virgo season. We're embracing the the uh, transitions from one season, Leo season, the fire, passion, hero, to the let's make deals and talk to people and interact and market and build and craft and everything that makes the world go around kind of thing with the Virgo energy, all right? So the for with the water energies, Mars and Cancer and all this and that going on and the eclipse, because moon and you know the sun eclipse leo this is for you too uh hopefully you watch this but if not well that's on you um besage you're kind of like a leader uh, the leader or the elder of the fire signs right so go tell leo if he didn't hear you but or didn't hear me but uh you know what to do. You're you're the mature fire sign, so you know how to allow the Aries hero to be hero, and uh, just give him a little nudge here and there with your Sagittarius foresight, and you can see things better than Aries can. But that's okay. That's why you're here. We're a team. Everything is awesome when you're part of the team. Let a Sag give you a little guidance, a little bit tiny. Itty bitty bit, maybe not a permanent amount or a permanent long term thing, but an, an internal processing, developing thing, right? So that's what Sag is here for. So do that, Sag. Be that kind of elder to Leo and uh, his heroic return or triumph or whatever, or maybe he might go dark. So be careful, Sag. You, you might need to put Leo in check, but we'll see what happens. Well, um, but uh, yeah, Sag, do the leadership, lead the, the way, make sure the fire don't burn the world down, right? You know what I mean? We all know that was just to get people to motivated when you like say, hey, I could burn the world down or let the world burn is kind of like, nah, not really, because I don't want to live on freaking um, Venus or, you know, the sun, right? <laughs> so that's not the world that's uh, something else you know what i mean so let's let everything be as it is and shall be until we move on to a greener pastures other than you know proper guidance and boundaries and discipline from the sagittarius know where to go beautiful foresight that sagittarius is have okay guys don't fall short and don't lack in leadership keep driving the car saggy okay All right, Sag, next we're gonna go into the Oracle readings and you're gonna see that on another video unless you're not a member and you can't afford it, which is cool. You can see it at the end of the month on September 30th. Uh, 
I'll reveal it for free and you'll be able to see the Oracle messages then. The Oracle messages from August are about to show up. So if you want to go check those out the uh, Saturday, Saturday they'll come out. So if you want to see the Oracle messages from Saturday or going to come out Saturday from August, right? Last month because you weren't a member and you can't afford it. It'll be here. Uh, if you are a member and you watch this, I appreciate you. We disregard everything, and uh, I love you. Um, but everyone else and all the people involved here watching this video, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. Subscribing, liking, and sharing, and all those amazing things you do. I'll check you out. See you next time. We're moving on to the air signs. Bye. Hey, if you want the Oracle reading, you gotta go over here, you gotta click this join button, right? And yeah, see if you want hey, to click that please. join button, you're, to get in you're gonna get all kinds of content that's locked away from the public. Not just, you know, the Oracle readings, there's other content there too. And more to come, so join, please and thank you.